Euclid's algorithm is an efficient method for computing the greatest common divisor of two numbers. The greatest common divisor is the largest number that divides both of them without leaving a remainder. The algorithm is named after the ancient Greek mathematician Euclid, who first described it in his elements around 300 BC. In this assignment, we will implement Euclid's algorithm using a test-driven development approach. Let's first focus on the pseudocode. The pseudocode features a function GCD that takes two input parameters, A and B. The function returns a value A after performing some operations within a while loop. This is all we need to know in order to set up our test procedure. Let's first set up our test folder and associated file underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py as usual. In module python underscore module dot py we define a function gcd according to the signature described in the pseudocode. However, for the moment we use the parse statement and leave the body of this function empty. In module test underscore gcd.py we extend class test case and create a new class test gcd. Since we do not need any particular initialization or cleanup, class test gcd features two empty methods set up and tear down. The test case method test gcd tests our function gcd on an instance in which parameter a is equal to 5 and parameter b is equal to 10. Note the use of an asterisk in front of input variable instance. The asterisk operator performs input parameters unpacking. We can now right click on module test underscore gcd and select option run all unit tests. If no test framework has been set up yet, Visual Studio Code will ask you if you want to set up one. Select Enable and configure a test framework, and choose Unit Test as Test Framework. Choose Root Directory as the directory containing unit tests. And finally select the pattern to identify test files. In our case test underscore asterisk dot py. Annotations for running tests will appear on the top of relevant classes and test cases. The test framework is now ready to use. If we now run our test GCD case, however, the test fails and a warning is displayed. Let's check the associated error message. The failure is due to an assertion error. This is not surprising, as we have not implemented yet our method GCD in Python module.py. Let's implement method GCD in Python module.py. To do so, we follow the pseudocode previously presented. We can now return to module test GCD and run our test case. The test now runs fine and a green tick mark is displayed in the control bar. Let's try now a more complex instance. The greatest common divisor of 1234 and 5678 is 2. Let's test our code with this instance. If we run the test an assertion error is raised. It appears that the code is not working properly. We need to go back to the drawing board. Let's check carefully method GCD code and contrast it with the pseudocode. It appears that the return statement has been wrongly indented. Currently, the function simply terminates at the end of the first loop. Let's fix this error and retest our code. Now the test case runs fine. Euclid's algorithm is now implemented and tested.